Hey there, folks. This is Hugo, and your Nomadic Gamer, and it's time for another night in the life of Dr. Jonathan Reed with Vampyr. A few nights later, as I, as I shed one last red tear for my fallen sister, I realized the entire world now revolves around this singular word. The epidemic that has stricken London is not the Spanish flu. It is transmitted through the blood via violent biting turning survivors into frenzied immortals. I am Dr. Jonathan Reed. I am a vampire, born anew into an age of death and pestilence. While plotting factions close in around me, I am sworn to find the source of this epidemic. I am convinced greater perils are still to come. I know the answers I seek are hiding in our blood. Okay, let's have a quick chat, see if there's anything new with uh, Dr. Swansea, and then get at it, and then save and quit. Jonathan, old chap, how are you tonight? I've seen little of you of late. I was conducting research in my room, away from the nightly routines. Of course, of course. Worry not, I understand. The situation has been testy around here. I won't deny it, but we still stand. What news do you bring? The news is not good, my friend. We try to keep the epidemic at bay, but street violence is escalating quickly. Tell me more about the violence. Geoffrey McCallum seems to have sent his war dogs on a hunt. On a nightly basis, Prewen patrols exterminate every skull and vampire they find. Have they come closer to the hospital? No. They mainly focus on fallen districts or abandoned buildings. But they're growing in numbers. They must be recruiting heavily. Hmm. How bad is the epidemic? It is killing the infected patients faster. In less than two days now. Jeez. The only blessing is that they are contagious for a shorter period. Have you any reliable friends in the West End who might assist me? Unfortunately, you will be alone. Except for our ravishing red-headed acquaintance, of course. What about the Brotherhood of St. Paul Stoll? Where are they? There are only a few of us, and most others would not speak to you. I hmm. am the black sheep of our brotherly flock, you know. Interesting. What of my commission here at Pembroke Hospital? Nothing to fear, Jonathan. Your position here is in no jeopardy. You remain one of us, and you are always most welcome. Okay. I have received an alarming letter from Lady Ashbury. She wants me to meet her at her house. I have been granted safe passage. Then you are twice fortunate. I have never been invited to the lady's mansion. And with the quarantine and controls, city access is nigh impossible. Is the quarantine serving any purpose? It is helping slow the propagation of the epidemic. But as long as we have no clue to its origin, its efficiency is limited. Hmm. Why have you never entered the lady's house? You are one of her good friends, are you not? My dear Jonathan, you have no idea how reclusive the good lady normally is. Nor in what great esteem she must hold you to let you into her domain. I guess I don't. Thank you, Edgar. We shall speak again later. Okay. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and rest and evolve, you know, increase my abilities here. Okay, so we have a patron to visit. So let's go ahead and be about that. Let's see, 
Lady Ashbury's mansion. Hopefully this will be a really cool thing to see. Spare your obedient slave. Oh, got some hunters over there. Wait. Are there hunters up here? Yeah, I don't see anybody. I think I, I think I'm in the clear. Quick rummaging here. Oh boy, here we go. I remember you. Ah, uh, you are creepy. You must prepare, child, for the earth is bleeding and the harvest is upon us. What harvest? Stay away, whoever you are. This is no time for petty quarrels, my child. Can you not hear? Hear The what? famished queen has awoken. Famished queen? This is to be quiet, go away, I'm not your champion. Wait, why do you call me your champion? Hmm. What would be the best option here? Let's, let's insist he be quiet. I insist you be quiet! Son, do you not see? You are the healing bath. I? I had to kill Mary. I have known your pain, child. Dagnab, do not succumb to Silence! I dismiss you now! The land calls for a champion. All and everyone needs you. Silence. The famished I'm tired queen. of all these puppet shows. Yeah, tired as you may be, boy. Oh, there's there seems to be a less than sinister, more of a I I guess benevolent reason you were turned. Famished queen. The harvest? Coming up on the fork in the road. It's not this turn, but up here? Eh? They want war. I'll show them war. Whatever this poor woman did, nobody deserves this kind of punishment. Yo, yeah, what? Oh, whoa, whoa, I didn't realize I was stepping on a corpse. Can I? Okay, good. What just happened here? And what's he talking about war? I mean, I guess he's talking about these, uh, Knights of Prewin. Hello? Okay. Let's try this again. Aha! Ah, what? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay, that's... Why did you attack me? Man. Right? You're not gonna, you're not gonna fight me? Alright, cool, cool. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Easy. I I thought we were gonna chat. I thought you were gonna attack me. Jeez. 
What is that for? Good trigger part. Alright. Anybody else? Bring some screws. I should have to go through here, right? No, not through here. Huh? There's not. No, no, that's something else. Okay, so her mansion is right over here. So this is where she lives. What a splendid house. Yeah, jeez. All right, here we go. Dr. Reed, welcome. How are you? As good as one can be, considering the circumstances. Yes. yes. Death and affliction seem prevailing themes of late. Please, come in. We have much to discuss. I hope I haven't disturbed you. Not at all. Actually, sure? I was counting on you visiting me tonight. I, I was hearing some How stuff. How strange, this painting. Beautiful, melancholic, yet with a haunting dignity. <laughs> Indeed. A long time ago, a friend asked me to paint this for him. But I kept it in the end. Why? I did not know you were a painter, my lady. There are many things you do not know about me, young Ekon. Uh, all right, jeez. How, how about you give you, you call me by my name? That that would be nice. Please, call me Jonathan. Please excuse my behavior, Jonathan. I tend to tease my friends when uneasy. What is oh. bothering you, my lady? Thank you. Your letter was quite alarming. We will talk about this in a few minutes. For now, I would like you to tell me about yourself. How have you been since we last met, my friend? I want to thank you for all your support and your help, my lady. Could you do me a last great favor and call me Elizabeth? I should be honored, my lady. Then it is settled. <laughs> Finally, some good news in these dark hours. Thank you. I appreciate the advice. I had best prepare myself to meet this Lord Redgrave now. How thrilling to meet the Earl of Bristol in the flesh, so to speak. Something tells me you're not very keen on the man. Don't get me wrong. The gentlemen of the Ascalon Club are honorable, but their attitude and opinions are somewhat antiquated. <laughs> See. As long as they deny access to female applicants, I will leave them to their antediluvian considerations as to the natural order of things. Whoa. All right. Jonathan, promise me you'll be careful. Of course. But why the fear in your voice? Look at me, Jonathan. Okay. I, am. I yeah. mean, really look at me, young Ekon. Seems... We may be deceptive by nature. But this heart of mine has always told the truth. Oh. Elizabeth. <laughs> Go, my friend. But come back to me soon. Huh. Was, uh... It's not expecting romance in this. So, time to visit the Ascalon Club. At least it's close by. I'm not gonna get jumped, am I? Okay, so I'm not. I wasn't gonna make you guys sit through uh, all the chat that I had with uh, Lady Ashbury, but uh, apparently the fellas at this Ascalon Club, same guys who are responsible for that uh, sewer dog, want to have a chat with me. Apparently I've uh, 
I've ruffled some feathers. I'm not sure if the hand that, are, that they're extending to me is one in friendship or one of uh, bondage. So Lady Ashbury tells me that not all the members of the Ascalon Club are immortals uh, or vampires like myself. Some of them are just uh, very influential individuals. I want to thank you folks for coming by to watch my video. Go ahead and like, leave a comment, or even subscribe if you want to. Don't worry about hitting that notification bell. I'm making content every Tuesday and Thursday. So until next time, peace.